So in the previous videos, we discussed about some of the problems uh, which are related to real life problems and for those problems, we defined what is the state space. And in case of state space, we defined a graph that means how we can convert those problems in terms of a graph so that we can define the complete state of the process. Now in this video, uh, as I told you that uh, it is we are trying to solve the problems with the help of search algorithms and to apply those search algorithms, we need the state space. Now we found the state space. Now we are going to apply the algorithms like this is an algorithm. This is a general structure of an algorithm which we apply to find the solutions for a given problem. Now here in this algorithm, you can see it is a very generalized algorithm and this is a, this is a given an outline of an algorithm. In, in your examination, no one is going to ask you to write exact algorithm. So you should be able to understand what is the process of the algorithm, how the algorithm is working and you should be able to tell how you can apply this algorithm on a given graph or you can say on a given state space. So the algorithm is like this. Uh, first of all, we are going to initialize set open with start state. And this open is a data structure. Now, otherwise fail, this is fail and this is the termination condition for the algorithm. If open is equal to empty, then terminate with failure. Else select, select a state n from open, terminate if n is a goal state. That means if we reach the goal state, then terminate, otherwise expand. So this is the otherwise case, otherwise expand generate the successor of n using o this is this o is the transition operator which we defined what are operators and insert in open and six point is go to step two now this algorithm seems very general you i uh, think you'll not be able to understand how this algorithm is working unless you know what is this variable open now this variable open is a very interesting variable why it is very interesting because if you use stack as a data structure is for this variable open then this entire algorithm will behave like it is a depth first search algorithm but if you are going to use q as a data structure for open then this entire algorithm will become a breadth first search algorithm so you can see this open if you use stack so if you use stack then this will become depth first search algorithm and if you use q then this will become breadth first search algorithm that is why this open is very very interesting so i've given a graph here or a state space here now i'm going to apply this algorithm with stack as a data structure and then you'll see how this algorithm is actually actually working so this algorithm is very easy to understand i think you already know what is the depth first search algorithm and how this depth first search algorithm is working we already discussed this algorithm in case of data structures and algorithms now we just need an application of this depth first search algorithm with this generalized uh, search algorithm and so that we'll be able to reach to this particular goal state now let us use stack as a data structure for open and let us see how this algorithm is working so initially in the first case as you told that uh, set open is equal to start state and assuming here in this graph one is the start state that means the stack is initially containing one now term to fail if open is equal to phi now this open is this is not phi it's open is containing one element which is the node number one now this condition is failed so we'll go to this select a state n from open that means you are going to one take this one from open you are going to take this one now you have selected this one now terminate terminate if this is a goal state now this one is not a goal state for this particular case now if it is not a goal state that means obviously we have not reached this goal then expand that is generate the successor of n using the operators and insert in open that means take the successor of one what are the successor of one two three and four these are the successor of ones and put this successor of ones in in the open now this open is going to contain two three and four so assuming i'm going to put this two three and four like this we have uh, this two three and four now you can put this two three and four in any order inside the stack that does not matter the only thing will change uh, if you are going to put 2, 3 and 4. For example, if you are going to put 2 initially, 
and then 3 and then 4 and then if you take out 4 now you are going to apply the same algorithm on 4 now if you take 3 on top of the stack and 2 and 3 below 3 uh, below 3 uh, 2 and 4 below 3 then you will take out 3 out of the stack and again the same thing continues in the same way uh, this is just like for a given graph for a given starting state there are more than uh, next one next states are possible there are more, more than one next nodes are possible which you are going to visit and that next node is dependent on how you define the structure of the graph that is how you are going to store that uh, information of the graph in case of adjacency matrix or adjacency list representation now you can put this 2, 3 and 4 uh, inside this stack in any way you like so what I am doing is I am putting 4 here then I am putting 3 here and then I am putting 2 here and this is uh, from this step that generate the successor of n using operators and insert in the open now I am inserting these 2, 3 and 4 inside this open now step 6 is go to steps 2 that means from here we are again going to this step 2 and again this step 2 is saying is open empty but no open is not empty so we are going to select a state from open that means we are going to take this 2 out of open right now we have 2 then terminate if 2 is a goal state this 2 is not a goal state else expand generate the successor of n using operator and insert into the open that means for this 2 you are going to generate the successor of 2 there are two successor of 2 that is 3 and 6 but 3 is already inside the stack here we have not defined any specific me mechanism which is going to tell that you have uh, already selected this 3 but assuming that for simplicity we have assumed that this 3 uh, there is a mechanism which is going to tell that we have already taken this 3 and uh, this 3 is already present inside the stack and here we have not taken any mechanism because we want to make it as simple as possible but we also maintain one more data structure for this that is a close data structure and that we will be discussing in the later videos now here we are taking this 2 out of the stack and then generate the successor of n using operators and insert into open the what are the successors of 2 we have visited this we have visited this what are the successors of 4 there 2 there 3 and 6 3 is already inside the stack so we are going to take 6 that means we are going to put these elements inside the stack which is 4 3 and 6 the elements are 4 3 and 6 again after this go to line number 6 which is saying go to step 2 go to step 2 which is saying no this is not empty so we are not going to failure then again select a state n from the open that means we are going to take this 6 out of the stack we are going to select 6 and if 6 is a gold state is 6 a gold state no 6 is not a gold state then generate the successor of 6 using operators and insert in the open so what are the successors of 6 now you can see it clearly there are no successors of 6 why because there is no outgoing edges for 6 they are all are incoming edges hence we are just going to replace the 6 from the stack after this we again go to the step 2 and step 2 saying is open is empty no open is not empty then again select a state n from open so we will take the next state from the open and the next state is representing 3 so we will take this 3 out of the stack now terminate if 3 is a goal state you can clearly see 3 is not a goal state goal state is 7 then expand the successors of 3 so the successor of 3 is 4 and 5 4 is already in the stack so we will take 5 and we will put 5 inside the stack so next case the stack will be containing 4 and 5 again go to step number 2 and this stack is not empty now select a state from the stack so we are going to select one more state from open and we will take this 5 out of the stack after taking this 5 out of the stack now you can see uh, we, we are saying terminate if it is a goal state 5 is not a goal state therefore expand and generate the successor of n using o so that means you are going to take this 5 out of the stack and you are going to put the successors of 5 inside the stack so what are the successors of 5 there are two successors of 5 one is 6 and second one is 7 6 we have already taken now we will take the next successor which is 7 that means the stack will now be containing 7 that is 4 and 7 4 and 7 again from here 
go to step number two and you can see this condition is filled then select a state n from the stack so we'll take this seven out of the stack and then we'll see that if this n this seven is a goal state yes you can clearly see the seven is a goal state hence we reached the goal we clearly reached the goal and seven is the goal state that means for this particular problem we found the solution and this is how this search algorithm is actually working you can clearly see what we have done here this was actually very very simple we have taken some variable we have taken the variable which is uh, uh, n and every time we are checking whether this n is a goal state or not and if it is a goal state then terminate but if it is not a goal state then continue and we terminate only if the open is empty that means open is not containing any state and this is how this algorithm is working and this is how this is a depth first search now you see how we t how we actually managed to visit these variables uh, these nodes so initially we visited one after one we visited two after two we visited six then we, we did a backtrack because six was not having any states uh, as a successor then we visited uh, three then after three we visited five and then we visited seven and this is how the depth first search algorithm is working so you can apply this depth first search algorithm even in the trees because trees are also graph even for any graph also now if you select for open if you select q as a data structure then this entire algorithm will behave like a breadth first search in the next video we are going to discuss about how this algorithm is behave if we use breadth first search for this particular case now this is the next case the only difference with the previous case and the this case is in the previous case we discussed the open as a stack now in this case we will take the open as a queue and you will see how this algorithm is behaving like a breadth first search algorithm in that case so we are taking queue as a data structure so assuming that this is the queue and initially this queue is containing the start state as a in beginning so the start state is 1 so we are going to put 1 inside the queue now again if queue is empty the terminate with failure queue is not empty now select a state from queue and if that state is a goal state then terminate but if that state is not a goal state then put all the successors of that state inside the queue so this is how this algorithm is saying so that means we will take this one out of the state and we will see is one a goal state no one is not a goal state then put all the successors of one inside the queue so queue will, will now be containing the successors of one and the successors of one are two three and four now we are going to take we are going to go to step two again if this queue is empty this queue is not empty right so when will this queue be empty by the way this queue and that particular stack will be empty if you visited all the nodes which are reachable from the start state and you never met the goal state that means the solution is not present then only the queue will be empty so here you can see the queue is not empty again select the state from this that means select one more state from this and see if it is a goal state if 2 is not a goal state then you take the successors of 2 and you put those successors inside the queue so you can see 2 is not the goal state then you take the successors of queue successors of queue will become 6 and 3 but 3 is already in the queue so we are going to put 6 so we are going to put 6 so we will be having 3 4 and we will be having 6 now again you will perform the same operation this time you take 3 out of the queue now when you take 3 out of the queue now successors of 3 are 4 and 5 but 4 is already inside the queue so we are going to take 5 therefore the queue will now be containing 4 6 and 5 again take 4 out of the queue and put the successors there are no successors then take 6 out of the queue what are the successors of 6 there are no successors then take 5 out of the queue so queue will now be containing 5 if you take 5 out of the queue then the successors of 5 are 6 and 7 but 6 we already visited so we are going to put 7 here and then you are going to take 7 out of the queue 
and you see 7 is a goal state. See, every time if you are taking some element out of the queue, that means initially you have to check whether it is a goal state. If it is a goal state, that means we reach the goal. And if it is not a goal state, then you have to put the successor. So now every time here also, here also, here also, in all these cases, when I am taking one element out of the queue, that means I am checking whether it is a goal state or not. So you here you can see, this is, these are not a goal state. But when you take 7 out of the queue, then 7 is acting as a goal state. So 7 is acting as a goal state. That means we reached the goal. So these are the two basic algorithms we, which we study to perform depth first search and breadth first search to find the solution to a particular problem from uh, the problems which are real life problem and we can define those problems in case of state space. So this is the first algorithm which we studied. Now let us move on to the next, the basics of these kind of algorithms and let us discuss the, about them in more detail.